Hey guys, it's Thursday. It's that time of the week. So today we're going to be looking at an NP completeness problem. Specifically, we're going to be reaching back to an earlier video where I solved a linear system of inequalities. The system AX less than or equal to B. We're going to be looking back at that, at that system of inequalities and we're going to ask ourselves whether or not Testing to see if this system has a solution is an NP-complete problem. So how do we do that? What does it mean for a problem to be NP-complete? Well, the, well, there are two requirements. One, you have to show that it's in NP. Show that it's in NP. Two, you have to show that every other problem in NP can be reduced to the problem in question. So you have to show that it is essentially the same problem as every other problem. So show that any other problem in NP is reducible to, well, let's call this Y, is reducible to Y. So We'll go through both of these and see exactly what the thought process is and how you would go about solving this problem. So, for one, to show that it's an NP, that's simple enough. Uh, to be an NP, the problem has to be of a format such that if I give you a, a potential solution to it, you can, if you, assuming that you have a black box that can test it, you can just input my solution and the black box will tell you, oh yeah, that's correct, or no, that's not correct. That's it. So as long as I can provide you with some sort of certificate that you can then check for validity, it's an NP. If there's a polynomial time algorithm to check the validity of a certificate, it's an NP. Clearly here it is, because I can propose a solution set to you. I can give you a set of X's and say, oh, this will work. And then if you can go test it in polynomial time and get a yes or a no, then it's an NP. So this is an NP. I hope everybody buys that. This is the harder part. We have to show that some other problem, in any other problem in NP is reducible to this one. Now, luckily for us, the fact that this is a requirement of being in NP means that every problem in NP is essentially the same problem, like that, right? Because they can all be reduced to each other. So if we can find one problem and reduce it to this one, then we're done. In particular, we know that We know that 3CNF satisfiability is NP complete. We know that much. So let's say that we have, let's start from the beginning. Let's say that we have some clause in the beginning, uh, x1 or x2 or x3 complement and da 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 up to CK and we'll just call this C, some set of clauses in the conjunctive normal form. So how would we go about so obviously we want to see if we can get a solution set to this for all the literals, for all of our X's, that's a three. For all of our X's that would cause this to evaluate to true. Already it sounds like a similar problem, right? Because it's the same problem and we're going to show that. So if you take just one of these clauses to start with and you say, all right, <clears throat> this clause, C1, has to evaluate to one in order for the whole thing to evaluate to true. Every, and it's the same for everybody, they all have to evaluate to one, or at least one. So we have three literals because of 3CNF. Let's say that this will mirror to something like this, x1 plus x2 plus, and this is x3 complement. So if you reach back to discrete math 2 and you remember how to express the complement, it's just the rest of whatever you're looking at. So 1 minus whatever quantity plus 1 minus x3 
to evaluate to true has to be greater than or equal to one. Right. So there you go. Now, and you might be saying, oh, but that's it's supposed to be less than or equal. Big deal. You d divide, multiply it by a negative or whatever. Dude, it doesn't matter. Nobody cares. So basically, if you can, you can just say, do this for every clause, and as you do more and more clauses, you develop a system of inequalities. And we know that this is NP-complete, so this problem reduces to the linear system of inequalities, and there you go. It's NP-complete. We're done. Up next, we'll be looking at, what, will be, what are we going to be looking at next? Ah, cool, 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 cool. We're going to build a graph from a conjunctive normal form and use that to find clicks and covers and all sorts of fun stuff. That's up next. Have a good one, guys.